Hi, I'm Gerard Duran, and what you just saw was my campus, Little Village Allendale High School. Little Village is composed of four different schools, Multicultural Academy of Scholarship, Social Justice, Infinity High School, and World Language. Each school has its own stereotype. World Language is full of a bunch of fresas and paisas. Infinity is full of a bunch of intelligent, cocky people. World, uh, Social Justice is full of a bunch of rebels and that always ditch high, uh, their school and walk out. And MAS is full of a bunch of people who like to get into fights and just, yeah. So follow me. Little Village Bondale High School was under construction during 2001. Then during the construction, the contractor said that the budget to build the high school was too low. So they stopped construction. Uh, this is World Language High School. It's uh, blue. When the parents heard this, many adults showed up to do a hunger strike on May 13, 2001. The hunger strike lasted for 19 days until the school board recontinued construction. Uh, this is Infinity High School. It's purple. One of the really interesting things about this school is that um, it's actually made up of a number of small schools. Um, each small school has its own independent identity, a different color associated with it, um, and it's a different location on the, on, the, on the school's campus. This is social justice. It's red. When you look at the school, it has a gray glazed tile, um, so you know that you're in the circulation side, and the academic sides have a tan brick color. Um, so everyone is supposed to have a sense of identity when they're moving throughout the school. And uh, this is Moss, it's green. When it was complete, the adults were pleased to have a safe and educational school for their children. That's it, those are the four schools. Uh, we'll be able to learn about the architecture in a little bit, so thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Ashley Marsh. I'm an architect. Uh, I work at Canon Design and uh, Little Village High School is the school that we design. Um, the place I'm standing right now is actually a circulation area that connects to areas like the cafeteria and the gymnasiums. Um, to my left there's a couple schools that are independently in a bar um, and to my right the same thing occurs. Um, you'll also notice that um, behind me is a uh, the cone, as it's commonly referred to, um, which has become a play and active, act, active space for, um, for the students. There's a really interesting story about the cone that's in the center of the school. Um, this, this school was actually formed um, when mothers in the community uh, had a, a compassion um, cry to the Chicago Public Schools that the existing schools were overcrowded, um, students didn't have a place to go that was safe and close to home. Um, so they actually went on a hunger strike um, to convince the Chicago Public Schools that the school was needed in the community and the cone has a skylight at the top of it that marks the date um, of the hunger strike um, every year. So there's a kind of connection to the history of the school um, and it's actually got an interesting story also um, in the way that it was constructed because it, even though you can calculate sun angles and you should know where the sun lands, it's actually really tricky to make sure that when you design it, it's actually at that correct angle. So they designed the cone apparatus at the top, so it's a typical skylight and it has a specialty piece that could be readjusted later if the sun angle wasn't quite correct. And, uh, the design principal on this project, uh, his name is George Beach, um, and he was also working on the project with Trung Lee, and Trung Lee is an amazing education uh, architect and he is well known across the country for his work in influencing better education facilities for students. So this project for me um, meant quite a lot. Uh, the work that I actually do at the firm is really focused on um, community engagement, uh, nonprofit outreach, 
um, and providing um, design services in communities where access to good design isn't typically um, the norm. So for me, uh, this project um, really personifies uh, the way that architecture can really impact the community and provide um, access and services. Um, so I was, I was really proud. And uh, that's the great thing about architecture too, right? It, it, it really catalyzes a community and a series of ideas um, into a space that like, thousands of students enjoy um, and the community can enjoy. Being part of the community of Little Village and having a Little Village High School, um, for me, growing up here, I think it's a blessing to be able to come to a beautiful school and something that some something that parents fought for for such a long time and finally got it. And to be here knowing that what they accomplished is a, it's great for me because I know that I'm leading on their legend and I have to be better for everyone to see that they can be good too.